Mike Trout, um, what impresses you about him? Best players in the game. <laughs> They're just amazing. Young kid who wants to get better, which is scary. Really humble, great teammate, comes from a great family, and has the same heart that I have, and wants to win, just like I want to win. So uh, we always talk about it. I'm like, dude, I wish you, can you imagine if it, me and you together in my prime time and you now in your prime time, like how scary, we, like we, we joke around like that, you know? But uh, it's pretty special and I'm thankful and blessed to wear the same uniform that Mike Trout was wearing. He talked to me a lot yesterday about the role that you played in mentoring him when he first came into the league because your first year with the Angels was, you know, his first year with the Angels. In what ways were you trying to uh, mentor him? Uh, the same way, you know, just probably when he was putting a little bit of pressure on himself or, or you know, try to do too much and just stuff like that, take it under your wing. Just the same way the guys were, took me under the wing, you know, and just, just help him out with pitching or approach and talk about hitting. Just treat him the same way that I have treat everybody that make that ball club since till then. It's like, listen, you belong here. You just not a clue. You belong here, and you're gonna help us to win. And that's the same way, man. And Trouty is uh, is a really, really, besides being a great player, like a great athlete, just a fun person, man. He's just a great, great kid, and I enjoy it. You know, really smiling every day, and man, he even he plays against the right way. Even the foul ball he runs, you know, it's just they play the right way, and I'm 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 thankful and. I would tell my grandkids when he's in the, you know, in the Hall of Fame, uh, uh, getting into the Hall of Fame, like I play with that kid. I play with him and, and I mentor him a little bit and, and bless and hopefully me and him can accomplish what we want and it's a trophy. There are plenty of other players on the team, obviously. What do you think led to the two of you guys becoming close friends? Yeah, I just, um, you know, I always, you know, looked up to a lot of people and I've, I've you know, I was a big Jeter fan growing up, the, the championships, the, the leadership, and, you know, I saw that in Albert, and, you know, you didn't even have to know him. You could just see it on the field, his, his actions, um, the leadership, and, you know, I, I wanted to pick his brain because I knew he, he, he did it. He goes, he goes his business the right way, and, um, you know, he's helped me out tremendously. So. What do you guys like doing away from the field together? Uh, we golf a lot. We, uh, you know, go to dinner and stuff. Um, What's a typical dinner conversation entail? Uh, we mess around. We joke with each other. You know, we're, it's every, everything's a competition with me and Albert. You know, if we're, you know, golfing or something closest to the pin, every, every, every hole, you know, this shot, you know, who can hit the ball farther? It might be just a, you know, throw the ball in a bucket, who can make it? It's little stuff and, you know, everything is a competition and we, we enjoy it. It's, it's a good time. What do you remember from his time with the Cardinals before you entered the big league? Yeah, I mean, he couldn't get out. Um, you know, I, as, a, as a hitter, you look at that, the, the, the numbers he's put up and he did put up and, it just seemed like every day you turn on ESPN, you see Albert's name on the hot headlines and MLB Network. It's, um, you know, it's, it's special. He's special. I was talking to Tony LaRusso yesterday, and he was saying, you know, a lot of people don't give Albert credit for having played with injuries, and at times he's been hitting basically on one, one leg. leg. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's that like for you watching him, you know, go through the injuries? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it makes you, f f you see that as a teammate, and you respect that. The guy goes out there, you, you know he's, he's battling injuries and he's still willing to go out there and perform for his team. I know a couple of times where he could have easily said, look, I'm, you know, I gotta, I gotta shut down, I gotta get this thing right. And, uh, you know, he doesn't. He respects everything about this game. He, he wants to be out there uh, with his teammates. He's not, he thinks that if he's not on the field, he's letting his teammates down. And, you know, we see that as a, as a, as a teammate, as a person, you know, he, he, he's, a, he's a team guy, so. What do you think you've most learned from him? Just being, um, you know, a great person. You know, obviously, you know how humble he is. Um, you know, the the accolades, the, the Hall of Fame career, and uh, you know he's still the same Albert. He's got the same routine since I've been here. Um, keeps the same composure, um, and he respects his teammates. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, and you've said before that he's helped a lot with in-game adjustments oh, yeah. with regards to you. In what way? Yeah, no, um, you know he he's. He sees he's unbelievable, like analyzing the swing. Um, you know, when he used to hit, when he hit behind me, um, you know, I'd take a swing, I'd foul it off, and I'd look behind me, he'd start whistling at me, 
and you tell me, you know, hey, maybe think more right center or maybe, you know, try to pull this one and, you know, the next pitch I'll, I'll get a hit. And Be, Because you listen. Yeah, exactly. of course. You, you got to listen to him. He, he, he knows, um, you know, more about hitting than, you know, a lot of people that I've met and probably the most about hitting because he, uh, he's been done that. He's done everything in this game that, you know, as a young player coming up, he's got answers to.